Hello, this is Pinky, and this is going to be a tutorial on the new Creator Companion by VRChat. So to get started, we will have to log into VRChat.com, and down on our main window, right here where it says download, we will click here. And as you can see, we have the new Creator Companion here. What we're going to do is we're going to click download the Creator Companion, and we are going to run the setup exe. So install for all users, press yes, I agree to the, or I accept the agreement. Next, we're going to select where we want to install it. I'm going to keep it in my program files, so I'm not going to change this, but if you want to, hit browse and just select where you want to install it. Make sure you have enough space on your disk. It's a very small application, so you should be fine. You're going to click next here. You're going to click next again, and you're going to wait for it to install all the files needed. And after it is done installing, it should either auto boot or you could just type into your search bar and search up VR chat creator companion. But as you can see, it automatically started for me. And as you can see now, we have our creator companion. So if you want to add pre-existing uh, folders, you would click this add and you would scroll through your projects and add them. But for now, I already have them. And so the first step to migrating is we're going to get our project that we want to migrate, which for me in this case would be this YouTube project. And I'm going to hit migrate here and I'm going to click migrate a copy because if you migrate in place, I have a backup. This means you've already backed it up somewhere. I have not yet, so I will be clicking migrate a copy. And as you can see, it is now migrating, it is basically duplicating the project and putting it in a different space. So it's gonna take a bit of time to do that. And after it is done migrating, it will now allow us to click and select what we want inside of our project. So I have gesture manager updated here. And you can see there's also audio link support. There's a world toolkit, which you don't want to import into an avatar package. So don't make this mistake. There's the easy quest switch. And then there is the avatar 3.0 manager. This is a very helpful tool. I would recommend adding this to your project. So next step would just be opening the project. After this is done, it will boot up the Unity. So think of this as a Unity, a glorified Unity hub that we will be now using to get the newest VRChat SDK. But after this has opened up this uh, Unity file, it will start installing some things and you have to wait, wait a little while for that. So just hold on. So now that we are inside of our project, as you can see, some things have changed since we've last opened this. So I'm going to grab my Ampwave scene and drag this in. And we will now have our avatar here. It still has the vest from the last video, so I can just quickly disable these two. Uh, but as you can see, we may have some errors in our console over here. And this is because when we updated our SDK, some of the outdated applications like the AV3 emulator I use will no longer work with this version of Unity. So what we're going to do is we're going to locate these files. So this will most likely be Limia and we're going to hit delete and make sure that we press yes. And that should be all of it. Again, we can go to our console, hit clear, and if there's no error showing up, that means it has successfully worked. But this project is now being migrated over to the new VRChat SDK. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. This has been just a quick setup video on how to do this. Uh, I wish you guys the best of luck with your avatar creation, and have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.